In a previous video, I showed you how to connect your Synology NAS with your domain name using Cloudflare, or how to directly access it via your domain name. However, due to keeping the video short, I didn't show how to attach the domain name with Cloudflare. So in this video, I'll try to show you how to attach a domain name to your Cloudflare account. And from there, by following a few simple steps, you'll be able to connect your Synology NAS server or other network attached devices and access them from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. You can now see the place I'm marking. Here, a domain is visible. I will use this domain now to park it with Cloudflare. Here you can see that this domain name of mine is currently linked to a hosting server. Now I will disconnect it from that hosting and link it to Cloudflare. For that, the first step is to change the name servers. So we need to get the name servers from Cloudflare first. Now, first, we will go to our domain's name server settings. I should mention here that each domain hosting provider may have a different interface, but the system is the same for all. Every domain will have an option to change the name servers, and you will definitely find this option in your hosting panel or from wherever you purchase the domain. Here you can see two name server addresses. Now we need to replace these two name servers with the ones provided by Cloudflare. So first I'm copying my domain name. Using this domain name, I'll get two new name server addresses from the Cloudflare website. As you saw, I copied the domain name and continued on the Cloudflare website. A pricing list has appeared here, and from this list, we're selecting the free plan, because for the task we're doing, we don't need a paid plan. After clicking Continue, you can see that the website is loading or taking a moment. Then it shows the DNS records that were previously associated with our hosting server, or where the domain was previously pointed. So now we'll scroll down to the bottom and click on Continue to Activation. As you saw, after I clicked Continue, we're shown some new information. It tells us that previously, two name servers were associated with this domain. Now, two new name servers have been provided, and we're instructed to add these new name servers to the domain. After that, the domain will start working with Cloudflare. This process may take around 1 to 48 hours to complete. Here you can see that we've updated our domain's control panel with the new name server addresses, and everything seems to be working correctly. Hopefully, it will continue to do so. This entire process can take anywhere from 1 to 48 hours, so let's see how long it actually takes. You can still see in our Cloudflare control panel that the message invalid name server is showing next to the website, so I think it will take a bit more time. If it were a completely new domain, it might have been added quickly, but since it was previously attached to another hosting, it may take longer to fully shift over to Cloudflare. After about two hours, you can see that our domain name is now connected to the Cloudflare control panel. This means that we can now use all the services we want to run through this domain via Cloudflare. For example, if I want to run my Jellyfin Media streaming server using this domain, I can easily do that. By creating a zero trust tunnel, we'll be able to access our Jellyfin server from anywhere in the world using this domain. I hope that by watching our video, you'll be able to complete your necessary setup. If you found this video helpful, or if it helped you in any way, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. And if someone else might benefit from it, feel free to share the video with them and let them know that they can find more content like this on our channel. That's all for today. Take care, and I hope you all stay well.